All right, Iron Lord Podcast, lordsofgaming.net. We are here at a very unique title. Who's this fine gentleman in the realm today? My name's John, and uh, I'm one of the creators of One Finger Death Punch 2. Wow, now this game, I have to admit, the art style looks absolutely fantastic, and this is a sequel. I'm completely new to this game. So please educate me on One Finger Death Punch. What is the premise? Yeah, it's a two-button stickman fighter. I would say probably one of the best stickman fighters ever made. One of the best two-button games ever made. Woo! And certainly is the fastest brawler ever made. The fastest. Yeah, it really is the fast brawler. I, I, I challenge anyone to show me a brawler faster than, than this <laughs> when it gets random. He talking that talk. I love that. <laughs> Build up. So one thing off the top, I'm old. I'm a, I'm a lord of the realm. I grew up on 70s kung fu flicks, right? Yeah. And a lot of this gives me that kind of a vibe. Can you give me, like, maybe some inspirations behind just the whole design of the game? You know, yeah. so that whole motif about it? Yeah. Um, this game, all the, in the inspiration came from movies. In fact, uh, Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury, where he takes on an entire dojo Woo! at once. Um, him versus all of them. And he uses different weapons and everything to, to do it. Is this. Is him versus all the men. Oh. And, I, and I also mentioned, um, I, 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 I should mention, mm. Uh, Jet Li's The One. Wow. He's taking out uh, all the other Jet Li's, and there's only two left. And the evil Jet Li gets sent to a prison, and he's on top of a pyramid, and he's fighting a thousand prisoners. That is this one man fighting a thousand enemies from different angles. So, that, you know, the, the core in inspiration comes from those two films. Yo, I'm so glad you said that because, again, a lot of our core, we grew up with those style flicks the Jet Li's, the Bruce Lee's, the Run Run Shaw kind of films. I mean, it's the essence of it. So as far as the two-button mechanic, now let's get into mechanics itself. Like, I noticed, like I said, the enemies are coming at you. It's one button with strikes. Oh, is it blocking? Tell me, like, the, the basic gameplay as you progress fighting all these enemies. Okay, so when an enemy enters, or I guess is close to you on right. the right or the left side, that, that side lights up saying, it's now a valid target, press me. And essentially, um, the character will do uh, a finishing move if he only has if one life left, mm -hmm. or it could do anything like a block, a hit. Nice. So if you have a four hit enemy on one side and you gotta hit him four times, most games would have you punching him four times. But not this game. This game, your first attack could be a block, hit, block, finish. Wow. And that's what gives the kung fu kind yeah, of Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Like um, if you ever watch uh, not Street Fighter at its highest level is pretty freaking sick looking. <laughs> just regular Street Fighter. There's not a lot of blocking going on. But right. when you see a martial arts film, it's back and forth. It's back and forth, exactly. And that's what we create with some of these enemies too. Do that very thing, back and forth. You you literally just captured the essence, again, of that martial arts, that back, it's never just punch, punch, punch. Like, again, when you watch those films, it's literally what you said. That back and forth, it really gives you the essence of being in a fight and that exchange of the arts. I love where you're going with it, man. Now, as far as level design, how, how much levels are, are, are currently in One Finger Death Punch? Um, there's 600-ish levels. I, I forget the exact number, but honestly, you only have to play like 200 of them. You don't have to play all those at all anyway. <laughs> but, uh, and, and it is a, it is repetitive. Those levels, you know, yeah. we have 13 different game modes in there that mix it up a little. Um, but for the most part, you're fighting a bunch of dudes, and you fight more dudes. <laughs> I like that. Fight you know, there is one cool thing about, uh, about one of the game modes we added in there. Uh, an example of what we try to do with Kung Fu is, um, our drunken master levels. You have Ooh. your guy in the middle, he's drunk, and those bars on the left and right sway with him being drunk, okay. and now it gets wider on one shoulder and the other wider. And, nice. the other. and that kind of really incorporates that theme of drunken master. Ooh. And like, for example, a, a second example is the Wing Chun style. It's a close combat style of fighting. Yes. Yes. So we shorten those bars up and make it so a lot of your attacks are throws. Because oh, so Wing Chun's all about breaking limbs it's and coming. things. Yeah. Dude, you are capturing the essence of martial arts. I'm loving this, man. Now, off camera, we talked a little bit about Twitch integration and things that you guys were discussing about that. Now, is that still currently in-game or something that's uh, going to be planned for the future? Yeah, we have a little piece of it in-game that we experimented with. And it did so well that uh, we're planning to add a lot more. And we'll have it all ready, hopefully, by launch on April 15th. Nice. Uh, it's it's a kind of a, a chat versus the player scenario where the chat can queue up some stuff, become a character in the game, just visually, just visual fun, 
and if the chat lands a hit on the player, the chat scores a point. Wow, that's cool. That yeah. is really cool, man. So again, we're looking at that April, you said 15th, you said? April 15th, April 15th launch. Now I gotta say, this in my game, in my opinion, I'm a huge Switch fan. In my opinion, I think this would be a killer game on a Switch or even any other platform. Is there any plans to expand it maybe to the consoles at some point? Yeah, it is coming to Xbox and the Switch. Uh, Did we hear that? We can get it done at some point, uh, maybe September if we're lucky. And PS4 is going to follow after that. So Xbox first, hopefully. Uh, Xbox and Switch at the same Xbox time. Xbox and Switch at the same time. Hopefully. Yeah, that's nice. our plan. Nice. Not all, man. This is awesome. Super excited. Cannot wait to learn more about this game. And what? Did, just one more question. What did you learn about the initial one? Because obviously it's a sequel. I'm new to the game, right? So what did you learn from the first iteration of this game to now the sequel? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, we had some people on Steam play the game for 60 hours, and they'll give it a negative review because of some little mechanic that felt unfair. And there was a few. We, they just couldn't iron them out. In this game, we have about 50 or 60 little subtle things that we do to make the gameplay fair in all circumstances, no matter how fast it's going. And it can go blazing fast. And I think making every element seem completely fair where, no, I got screwed. That is not going to happen. If, if, if you missed or got hit, I want the game to make sure that you felt like you made that error and the game didn't do that to you. That's awesome. And it's actually, it, it's fair and, and, and shows balance, which is what I like. That's what we try to do at least. And whether we succeed or not, I guess I'll leave that to the players. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing I'll say is, I love the inclusion of weapons and how visceral the game is. Like, tell me about, like I said, he's blocking ninja stars and doing that kind of stuff and bowls. What other weapons do we have in the game, do you know? Yeah, there's, uh, there's like 14 different weapons that you have in there. Now, uh, in all fairness, they're all they're all the same. Uh, it's just visual flair. But, but the way you transition from weapon to weapon, you'll pick up a weapon, fight a bit, drop it, pick up another weapon, grab a dagger, throw that. It kind of mimics the idea of, of a Jackie Chan film where he's fighting someone and he's, you know, using a frying pan to fight someone off while he's cooking eggs with another frying pan <laughs> and then he finishes them and he finishes his eggs. That kind of humor uh, and, and, and complexity of those scenes, we're trying to incorporate in this game. I am absolutely loving the fact that your representation of martial arts in this game is, is so cool. Dude, we cannot wait. Again, April on uh, Steam. Yeah, okay. 15th. April 15th on Steam. Then we're doing Xbox and Switch, hopefully later in the year. Yeah. And then hopefully again PS4 afterwards, right? That's right, right, yeah. Awesome. One finger death punch. This is one of my favorite games of the show. Iron Roll Podcast approved. <laughs> we can't wait to learn more. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate awesome. it.